This is a microscopic little crab and you can see that it's living happily um, in the fresh water. Its organs are moving, but it's soon going to be dead because uh, it's being attacked by these spiral shaped bacteria. These are spirilla and uh, they started to attack uh, and colonize uh, the little uh, crustacean and this actually killed it. Well, those uh, spirilla, they actually, they look a little bit like a corkscrew bottle opener like this um, and uh, they move forward by turning and um, yeah, they, this is basically how they move forward in water. Uh, but I'd like to use this time also to advertise my second YouTube channel, which I just recently opened a few days ago. Um, and it's like this, that in this second YouTube channel, I'll be talking a little bit about uh, microscopes, uh, the microscopes themselves. So what I have here is, for example, a new microscope uh, from, from Swift. Uh, and this is a very low cost but very good microscope. I'll be reviewing this one in the second YouTube channel. I'll be also be talking about microscope uh, optics. So for example, this here is a condenser. I'll be explaining uh, the parts of the microscopes. Um, and I'll also show you how to actually build your own microscope. So this one over here is uh, one which I made of Lego. It uses the standard uh, eyepieces and standard objectives and it works quite well actually. Um, and all of these things I'll be explaining uh, to you in the second uh, YouTube channel. So I'd like to invite you over and to put a link below so please uh, also have a look at that channel but now let's go back uh, to the spirilla yeah this here is my favorite pond it was in early springtime so there are not yet uh, all too many plants growing the plants are still a little bit uh, short so the pond is easily accessible and I simply picked up uh, a water sample from the surface um, of uh, the water and uh, I took it home and uh, I put uh, the water fleece that I caught this way directly under the microscope to do some simple pond water observation. Maybe you can see them actually um, swimming around. These are these tiny little crustaceans, crabs, water fleas and other um, daphnias and all, all of uh, the other crustaceans that you find in fresh water. Um, they are around a millimeter in length. Okay, so. Um, mostly they're eaten by fish, uh, but uh, basically they can also be used uh, to also clean the water because what they do is, is they actually eat uh, all of the decaying material. So I took a little water sample with the hope of actually being able to catch one of these uh, little crustaceans. This did take a little bit of patience uh, because not every time I was successful and I now am using a different slide. This slide here has a depression and uh, I am now using this one in order to prevent the water fleas and the daphnias and the little crustaceans from being uh, squashed by the cover glass. Um, so I also used uh, these slides here. Of course we have to put a cover glass on, on top and uh, if there's not enough space then this may, might actually crush uh, the little water organisms so I decided to use this slide here and it also worked quite fine. Yeah this is now in Brightfield that's uh, basically the same image as you saw before only now in Brightfield and you can see that uh, those uh, crustaceans those little uh, shrimp like animals um, are basically living and uh, the organs are out also uh, moving around and you can also see sometimes uh, the legs moving but you can already start to see that there are the little spirilla floating around um, in in the water. Um, I do not really know what these orange uh, circles, these orange dots are, but in any case uh, in the top right corner you can actually see the eye of this crustacean, this dark uh, spot on the top right corner that is the eye. And what they do is, is they suck in the water um, with all the suspended particles and they basically filter out uh, the food uh, from the water and this way they also keep the water clean. So I'm actually going um, even to a yet higher magnification and now we can already see the spirilla quite well here on the back. Um, they are yeah, swimming around, uh, they're moving forward by, by turning like a, a corkscrew uh, bottle opener, right? Um, and uh, this is now an, in real, real speed, okay? Um, so they're moving quite uh, vigorously and when I refocus a little bit I can see that some of them are actually now sticking a little bit on the cover glass so they're not moving around as much because they're a little bit uh, inhibited in their movement but you can see actually the spiral shape quite well. And now look a little bit further to the bottom of this image right now. You can see uh, there is a actually a large colony um, of these spirilla here right now. Okay, there are many of them uh, growing on the belly side of this uh, crustacean and just there where the legs are. 
And so this is this uh, darker spot towards the center right. Uh, you can see that there are many of them sticking together. As a matter of fact, so many of them that they cannot even uh, move freely. Yeah, so that's basically now what I have now in the middle here. Yeah, that is basically a, a colony of, of, of Spirilla here growing directly on, um, on this water crab, on this crustacean here. Yeah. So uh, basically I, I was able to observe this um, yeah, crustacean, but I think it was already feeling a little bit ill because normally what they do is, is they, they move uh, in a very vigorous and jerking manner. But now look all of these spirilla here. Look at all of these spirilla who, which are co colonizing this, uh, this uh, crustacean. Um, yeah, so I think uh, this uh, little crab already started to feel quite ill because of them. Um, I knew that uh, spirilla can be found in fresh water. Um, and I also knew that they're quite large, but actually I did not expect them to actually grow directly um, on water animals. So this is now um, the um, organism which is flipped around now, seen from the top, okay? Um, and uh, it's now shaking a little bit because unfortunately I was bumping the table on which the microscope was standing. Um, so basically the, uh, the shaky movement that you see is now basically me uh, being a little bit careless. Um, and you can already see that this one is, uh, the organs are not moving anymore um, because it started to get already quite ill. Um, and uh, you can also see that uh, there are now um, still spirilla swirling around. It's, uh, this one has a quite a large tail here in the back. You can also see that there are some other water organisms there, which I don't really know what they are. But uh, yeah, here there are again the spirilla and you can see now how they are turning in a spiral like manner. Yeah, and here there are lots of them again, lots of them. Um, you can actually, I, I looked at this with a 400 times and 600 times total magnification, so uh, you can should be able to see them with uh, pretty much uh, any decent uh, microscope, though, so nothing special is, is necessary here. Um, but one of the surprising things again is, is, is that uh, you're able to see um, these bacteria that well. Now this uh, little crustacean already starts to look very, very ill. I think it might be a second one because this one might be the one from before uh, because it's uh, from the side, okay? And uh, yeah, you can already see that it's starting to fall apart a little bit. It does not look healthy at all anymore. Organs are not moving anymore. There's spirilla everywhere. And basically what they do is, is they now start to decompose and break down um, this dead organism. So you can see that the bacteria are actually also quite important in, in breaking down and decomposing organic material. Um, in that sense they play also a very important role in recycling nutrients in the environment. Yeah, and here um, you can also see that there are not only spiral shaped bacteria around but maybe you can see also the occasionally very long thin rod shaped bacteria. Um, yeah, and that is basically what all I wanted to show you today, uh, you can uh, see that uh, the biodiversity in a drop of water is uh, quite high and uh, basically life and death in a water drop one might actually be able to say here. Um, and uh, it's quite interesting what you're able to see with, uh, with a microscope. In any case, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always. I hope you also enjoyed this video, even though it's the death of an organism. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what nature is like, okay? All the best. Happy microbe hunting and bye-bye.